Hello YouTube, uh, here we are with our PMDG737 up and running in Propart 3D. The G737V2 it's already calibrated and set up, so we're gonna start uh, setting it up within Propart 3D. First of all, we go to Options, Settings, and Controls, and we just check that our throttle tech sensitivity is in full and also in zero, and uh, Throw has to be calibrated. We double check that the axes are properly set up in engine one, engine two, flaps axis, and the spoiler axis. Okay, once that is done, we go to FSU IPC. Okay, once in FSU IPC, we go to axis assignment. As you can see, our throttles are not assigned within FSU IPC. They're direct. It's the best way to fly with the PMDG 737 and going through FSU IPC. So we leave them this way. Then we do a rescan and we check our speed brake. The same thing. You don't need to go through FSU IPC. Now, flaps. In this case, it is needed. So what you have to do to set up the flaps, guys, is I want to show you we rescan it. Move the flap lever a bit. Then we go to the drop down menu, we select send to FS as a normal axis, click on the box, the drop down menu goes down and we look for the flaps. And here we go, flap set, okay, and there we are. So we're going to try the flaps now. Flaps one. As you can see, we got it on flaps one. Then we go to flaps two. You can see the lever movement, and you can see the flaps indicator moving. Okay, we go to flaps five. There we go. Flaps ten. Twenty-five and thirty. Finally, we go all the way down to flaps down. So you can see the lever has moved all the way down. And the flap indicator is indicating the correct position. We can go, for example, from flaps down to 10. And we check on the gauge to check that everything is working as it should. There we go, flap 10 position. Okay, we check that our flaps are now set. Uh, we check our speed brake, 200 speed brake, simply. Move it a bit, about uh, an inch and a half, and it should have the speed brake on. After that, you can operate it normally. You can even check it on the aircraft. It's moving normally. There you hear the click, that's arm position. Here's arm position, there we go. And as you can see, they're not moving. If I move them, About an inch and a half is the arm position. There we go. So, that is set. Now, we go and uh, set all the switches. In this case, we have to do it through FSU IPC. Uh, many guys have asked me about the, the engine fuel cutoff switches, which has been a problem. Uh, we can go and check that. Here are the, the commands we're using for engine one idle, use shift control F2. For engine one cut off, shift control F1. Engine two idle, shift control F4. And for uh, engine two cut off, shift control F3. Once we have those, go to FSU IPC. 
button switches, and this is how we set it up. Okay. We first go to select for key press. So we're gonna start again from zero. I'm gonna clear it up. Okay. Let me go. Select for key press. And we place set. Once we place set, we put shift control F2. And that's it. It doesn't matter if it's control shift as the other way. You do it the, the correct way, shift control F2, and it should work. Then Chris, then uh, make sure it says key press not to be held. Then we go press the key to be sent. When you release this button, you go to set and shift control F1. Accept it. And there we go. And there we go. Same thing goes for the second one. There we are. That sets up our uh, engine. Now we go to the parking brake. Once again, we go to test your PC. Buttons and switches. And this is how we set up. We go select for FS control. Control set when buttons pressed. Go to brakes. on brakes. Control set when button released and go to parking brake. There we go. Okay. Press accept. There we go. What we're doing is basically setting up the, the parking brake here and just pressing the brakes that disconnects it. So this is kind of a hack to do it. There we go. Now we go to the reversers. Once again, FSU IPC, button switches, and press for the reversers. So you can see the, uh, the offset is throttle decrease small, and we press control to repeat while held, and throttle set. So we're gonna do it step by step. So select for FS control. We go to throttle decrease small, Throttle decrease mode, control to repeat while held, and control set when button release. Go to throttle set. There we go. Throttle set. Accept it. And there we go. We're activating our reversions. To get it out of reverse, you just push it a little bit uh, forward. That's a little small hack to tell the, the throw that we're back to F1 or that we're back to, to idle. So you activate the reversers. There we go. Working. Throw them all the way down. Flip them just a bit. And that's it. That's our reversers set up. So guys, this is our throttle setup, uh, only things we cannot set at this point is the toga and the out cross, uh, out of throttle, sorry, disconnect. Uh, it's, uh, we don't have the keyboard commands and we don't have the, the offsets from FSU IPC. Once I get them, manage to get them, I'll make another tutorial to set them up. So this is basically how you set up your 730C, 737V2 throttle with PMDG 737. Now just fly and enjoy. Thank you so much, and if you have any questions, please contact me.